please welcome the Atlantic's Margaret Lowe. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Atlantic's first ever summit on athletes and activism. I'm Margaret Lowe. I'm president of Atlantic Live, that team that brings the Atlantic's journalism to stages across the country, and we are so happy to be here in Washington with all of you at this great brand new arena where the Mystics will tip off against the Atlanta Dream this Saturday night, the, uh, the first Mystics game ever in this arena. We're thinking of ourselves today as a happy little warm-up act for that. And wow, what a wonderful crowd here today. Thank you all for joining us as we explore the power of athletes to spotlight injustice and to spur change. We will hear from Olympians, professional athletes, collegiate All-Americans, and from people who cover sports too. And listen to this, our, our, our speaker roster has among them one World Cup soccer championship, eight hockey world championships, nine Olympic medals, and one NFL trophy. So we think we have a pretty winning lineup today. And guiding the conversations on stage today is my winning colleague, Atlantic staff writer Jamel Hill, who spent more than a decade at ESPN before joining the Atlantic. As you all probably know, Jamel writes about the intersection of sports, race, politics, and culture. Uh, so we've told you about who's going to be on stage, and now we want to learn a little bit more about all of you in the audience. So we're going to actually take a quick poll, and answering the question re uh, requires a cell phone, which I suspect most of you have. So if you'll indulge me for a moment, take out your cell phones, um, and open up a browser, and then type in slido.com. That's S L I. D-O.com, S-L-I-D-O.com. Everybody got that? Good, okay. Now, next, where it says enter code here, type Atlantic athletes. I don't know how many Atlantic athletes there actually are, but type that anyway. Um, all one word. And now on your screen, you should see two options at the top, questions on the left and polls on the right. And we're gonna be using both of those features today, but we're gonna start with polls. So I want you to tap on polls, and I want us to answer the first question together. This technology is actually pretty cool, and you're gonna actually, we're going to actually tally the answers live on the screens on either side of the stage, and you and the millions of people watching us on, on the live stream can play along too. The first question is this. How would you describe yourself? Are you an athlete, an activist, a student, a community leader, or a fan. Uh, I confess that this is not super scientific, so you're welcome to um, select more than one answer. So go ahead. I think if we kept watching, it would keep on changing. So we have a lot of athletes, a lot of activists, community leaders, fans, students, um, a wonderful group. And now we have a good sense of who's along for the ride with us today. <clears throat> and thank you. I wanted you all to get a little use of this, get some practice, because we'll be using this technology throughout the afternoon for question and answer. And we want you to be part of the conversation today. And we're going to leave time for your questions um, after each session, and you can actually write your questions into the, um, using this technology at any point um, uh, along the way. Um, and we also hope that you're going to join the conversation on Twitter at Atlantic Live. Use the hashtag Atlantic Athletes. Um, one quick important safety note. If for any reason you need help or a quick ex exit, the guest services staff, the people wearing all black with, uh, with uh, logos that say Events TV, DC, um, are here and they will take good care of you if you need, need any help. Before we dive in, uh, I do want to take a moment to thank the Washington Mystics for making to tape possible. Uh, as I mentioned, they're starting their 2019 season right here on Saturday, so thank you, Washington Mystics.
And now it is an honor and a privilege to introduce the owner of the Mystics and the founder, chairman, and CEO of Monumental Sports and Entertainment, Ted Leonsis, is here to share some thoughts. Thank you, everyone. It's uh, so great to see so many students in the audience, too, and so many of our neighbors here from Congress Heights and Ward 8. Uh, we promised, we said that uh, Ward 8 would be the only community in the country to house an NBA, a WNBA, a G League, and an NBA 2K team. And uh, we're so grateful that our city and Events DC and Monumental Sports all came together. And this Saturday, we have our first game here. And it's very, very special. It is very um, culturally appropriate for us to be able to celebrate and make central the Washington mystics at, at this platform. And so I hope you all come, enjoy the, the game, enjoy the season. And we promised the community that we would bring um, jobs, we would bring um, attention, we would celebrate and be good neighbors, um, but that we would also bring cultural events and that we were able to pull this together so quickly and work with uh, great people at at um, the Atlantic really is, um, shows the power of what we can do by working together. I hope this is the first annual event that we can do this all of the time. I would like to make this uh, community and arena the, the uh, exemplar for women's sports. We should go out and recruit women's tournaments. We should have women's events here uh, on an ongoing basis. So you can help us with that. Um, we we want to make the Mystics the, uh, the best franchise in the WNBA. We want to recruit players who not only are fantastic athletes, but are even better human beings. And when you look at our roster, when you look at the people that we have up and down the lineup from our, from our coaching staff um, to all of our players, um, what we're trying to do is hold the mirror up to the communities that we serve, and I'm very, very proud of what we've done with the Mystics. We were preseason favorites to win the championship. Mike Tebow, I don't want to put any pressure on you or your, your family, but that is what our expectation is. And our expectation is that all of our teams will be able to be perennial playoff teams, um, that the players that we have in the organization will not only be great athletes and performers on the court, but that they will go out into the community and give back. We have made great commitments in philanthropy to Ward 8. We will live up to every one of those commitments. And right now, we promise to leave more than we take. I hope that the entire city, hope that the entire city will embrace this community, will embrace women's sports, and that we can build something great together and something that everyone around the country can point to and says that's how you get it done and done right. What I'd like to do right now is uh, introduce one of my favorite athletes, favorite people, um, not only uh, a, a legend on the court, uh, won a championship here at University of Maryland, uh, then won a championship in the WNBA, wanted to come back home, wanted to be a a servant in service to everyone in this audience, uh, is one of our great leaders um, on the court and also is a, a coach now for the Washington Wizards and that kind of cross, um, cross um, talent sharing, I think you'll see a lot more from us. And with that, please help me to welcome Christy Tolliver. Christy. Hello. Let's give a shout out to the Washington Mystics over there. Let's give them, give them a little love. Now we know what business casual looks like, so when we get on the planes in these upcoming trips, you guys are ready. Uh, on behalf of, of my teammates, I want to welcome everyone to the new home of the Washington Mystics. Uh, we look forward to another exciting season here in our new home in Congress Heights. I'm thrilled to be kicking off today's discussion about the intersection of sports and social justice. 
there has never been a more important time for us athletes to raise our voices and use our platforms for good. But I want to make the point that this conversation is not new for the mystics. We have long believed in using our power to stand up and speak out. We are a team of women who care about a number of different issues, from raising, raising awareness about mental health to bringing opportunity to young women and girls, and we are a team of advocates and activists. We believe that the strength and power of our sports rests on the strength and the power of the next generation of young women and girls. We are a team of strong women and social justice warriors. So this conversation is a, nat is a natural progression of who we are and what we represent. Thank you all for being here today. Enjoy the next couple hours of very, very good and informative discussion. <laughs>